Lakeshore tonight. A multi million dollar construction project is in the future for downtown Manitowoc. Chris Schuler reports the River North Apartments will anchor the new River Point District, where people will soon be able to live within walking distance of Lake Michigan. On a plot of land overlooking the Manitowoc River, a multi million dollar apartment complex will soon start taking shape. It'll be the largest new apartment complex in downtown Manitowoc in quite some time. Manitowoc has agreed the terms with local developers on their plan to construct a six story apartment building next to the Manitowoc River and blocks from Lake Michigan. On a parcel of this 20 acres of land the city bought two years ago from Canadian National Railroad. An area Mayor Nichols calls the River Point District. Bought that land with this intent to add to our downtown, to take advantage of the riverfront, which so many communities who have rivers have done and are doing. The $14 million River North Field is the first project announced in the district, offering from studios to three bedroom apartments, housing for roughly 200 people. Our vision was for downtown as a whole, get people to live, work, and play. The prospect of an additional 150 people living here in the downtown district excites many people, especially the owner of this coffee shop. Four years ago, Terry Stemper opened her business in downtown. This news makes her happy after a rough past year. Anything that you bring to the downtown, I mean, it benefits small business, and it's been quite a year, so <laughs> it's good to hear something good. And Tegan says the plan is to keep adding to the River Point District. Hopefully retail, commercial, uh, restaurants, bars, entertainment areas, um, all filling in and helping support our existing downtown core. And it all begins when this project breaks ground this summer. We want to get people to live downtown, because we're seeing that in every community. In Manitowoc, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Thank you, Chris. And the city is providing roughly $5 million toward that project. U.S. Senator